All right, hello friends and followers. So here's some SB200 modifications I did to my SB200 just now, and it worked out great. So let's first of all show you the URL for this site here. This guy is a genius, and I'll try and post this link on the YouTube anyway. So he explains how these modifications work, and this modification in my case was to eliminate stray capacitance because I had my amp self oscillating when I had it connect up to my exciter with the exciter turned off it would self oscillate if my exciter was connected and if my antenna tuner was connected and on a certain band on the antenna tuner it would self oscillate really badly so anyway I picked this frequency and he said change on each of the 572B's this capacitor to a 1 nanofarad there was a 33 ohm capacitor or resistor here. I took that out. So this resistor, this was the old circuit. And I basically changed from this circuit to this circuit by taking out this resistor, putting in a piece of wire, removing the uh, 200 puff and putting in a 1500 puff. So 1.5, whoa, I put in a 1.5 nanofarad. Anyway, it works great. So I took out the 200 puff and put in a 1.5 nanofarad. I left all this alone, didn't care or know what it was, just basically did this modification here. This changed to 1500 puffs, this gone, and fired the amp up. So anyway, now here's the amp fired up over here and let's inspect it and see how it's going. So I always check things on on 40 meters first, and that's what I did here. Uh, it seems like it even puts out a bit more power. So I explained in the last video, I showed the parts and what I did. This is the actual test the amp video to show you that it works. So anyway, I'm on 40 meters here on the, uh, on the Drake T4X. I'm on 40 and the amp's on 40. The meter here is on 2000 watt scale and let's hit it. So I'm seeing a mirror, not seeing much. Now, wait a minute. I thought this was a uh, good demo here. Well, let's see what's going on. So I was getting a pile of power out. Oh, the amp's turned off, ha ha ha. So to run the amplifier, you have to turn it on and key it. That's a problem if you don't key it. So yeah, the radio, the exciter is putting out how much? It's putting out, the exciter is putting out by itself. I'm driving the amp with 40 watts, at least into that load of the antenna and the, the tuner. Let's now key the amplifier. When you key the amp, the plate will idle a bit. So you're seeing the plate is now idling. I don't know if it's where it should be, but that needle was wavering and I replaced a uh, two microfarad capacitor in that circuit and I think that fixed that problem. So the needle doesn't waver now and the amp is turned on. Now that the amp is turned on, we'll feed it some power here and we'll excite the amplifier. Whoa, okay. 2000 watt scale. We're doing about almost 600 watts, which is book, with the Citron 572Bs. And if we hit it now with the uh, exciter, plate's not doing too bad. How about the grid? And this meter may not be accurate. The meter on the amp is homemade from a Chinese $10 meter. Grid is right up to spec, but not too bad. What if I load it a bit more? If you load it, the grid goes down a bit. Or does it? Let's see. Come on, grid, go down. Eh, maybe a little bit. How about the power? I took it down in power a bit. Let's give it a quick peek here, a peek tweak. Nope, doesn't like that. So let's take loading down here and hit it. Anyway, it, it's it's close to 600 watts. I'm not gonna juice this thing and push it, but. That's the story now on uh, 40 meters here. Let's give it a peek on the plate. 
it's maxed out at 40. All right, turn the amp off. Let's go to 20 meters, 20 meters, 20 meters, 20 meters, 20 meters, 20 meters. Let's see what happens there. All right, now this thing, we'll put it on direct, I suppose. There, it's on direct, and we'll go right to... Actually, I had troubles on 20 meters. Let's do that. Let's go to 20 on the tuner here. And let's tune the exciter up first. So we'll do the uh, exciter tuning here. Tune. Give it some power. Get a peak. Whoa. Peak on 20 there. Okay, a little peak. Let's get some dip. There's our plate dip. That's probably pretty good. Okay, amplifier. Let's turn the amplifier on. Amp is now keyed. Let's go to 200 watts. We're there. Hey, actually, no, no, no. I want to tune the antenna. So, uh, go to set, tune, take the power down to the set peg here. That's good. Read. Let's get 20 meters tuned up. We're now down to one point. We're down almost to one, so it's good. That's good enough. Okay, let's go there, turn it off. 200 watt scale. Now, let's see, key the amp on 20 meters. The amp is keyed. Uh, let's go to tune mode here and see what happens. We got a little bit of plate there. That's great. There's plate. Got some plate. Just give it a quick little tune here. Okay, we got about 200 watts there. And how about our load? Anyway, there's 200 watts on the amp right there. Not much plate. Let's uh, go to 2000 watt scale. Let's hike up the power here a little bit. Uh, let's make sure it's peaked up, which it is. Okay, hike it up. We're hiking the power. It'll go to... I'm seeing about 400 watts here. Plate's not really doing much. Okay, can I give it some more drive? Not quite 500 watts, but that's probably enough. Don't need to burn out the radio. Let's give it a bit more drive and see what you'll do. About 500 watts and maybe no more. So I might coax more out of it, but I might not. All right, that settles 20 meters. Let's turn the amp off. Go to 15 on the amp, 15 meters, 15 meters, 15 on this exciter, 15, 15. Okay, what else? This thing, take it to 15. Let's get the antenna tuner on 15 meters here. Let's do a tune up. Tune for max here. There's a max. Get a dip. There's a dip. Go for a set. There's our set. Go for a read. 15's way off. Going down 1.3. 1.2, maybe we can't get down too far here on 15. Looks like the wind's blowing, the antenna's blowing around. It's moving. Okay, that's good enough. And looks like the antenna is blowing in the wind. Let's do a 200 watt scale there. And how much can this thing deliver on 15? On 15 from the exciter, I can get 60 watts maybe. That's good enough for driving the amp. Okay. Turn the amp on 15 meters here. Okay, we're on 15. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Here we go. Amp is on. We're on plate. Okay, let's go to 15. Turn the exciter on. We got some power out of the amp here. Let's dip it. Okay, so... Not getting so much out. Let's increase our drive. Drive's going up. 
There we go. Now 2,000 watt scale. Yeah, I'm getting 500 watts on the 15th. How's our grid? Grid's too high. Load it. There we go. And try it. Well, about 450 with the correct grid. It's not bad. All right. Let's turn this puppy off. Turn the amp off. All right. Let's try the 10 meters, which never works right on these things. There's 10. There's 10. Let's go to 10 on this thing. And 10 here. And let's go to 10 here. And... Let's tune up this thing for some decent SWR on the antenna. Okay, transmit. Look for a peak. There's a peak. Dial it back. Do a set. And do a dip here in the plate here. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, we got some plate going on here. Got some power coming out. Let's increase a tad here. There, now read. Let's get SWR down on 10 meters. Down, down, down. There, it's way down to like one or something. All right, SWR 10 is non-existent. With the antenna tuner, we're pumping about, uh, how many watts out? Uh, five watts or something. Let's see what we can get on 10 here for the exciter. The exciter is doing, well, she'll do 70, 80 watts on 10. Right, that's enough. Now, the amplifier on 10, where it blows up and smokes, does all sorts of bad things, I hear. Let's see if that little fix fixed amplifier. Let's key it up. We're keyed, we got some plate. Get ready on the off switch in case it burns. All right, what are we doing here? We're keyed. This thing's keyed too. Give it some juice, spruce. Okay, let's plate it. Wow. I've never seen that work that well. Okay, we're getting about 125, almost 200 watts on 10 meters. That's more than this pup has ever put out. Grid's behaving. Let's pump it. A little more power. That's climbing. All right, on 10, where's our grid? Grid's right at the edge. A little more load. Plate's good. Or on 10, I'm getting about, uh, what, uh, 300 watts maybe. It's not that impressive, but it's something. Okay, power down. Let's take the load down, sure, like that. Try it like that. Take this down. Okay, fire it up. We're not getting much like that. Here's a little jump. Give it some more juice, Bruce. Give it some more load. Does it want load? Not sure. How's our grid? Grid's way too high. Increase the load. All right, got the grid up, grid down. Well, we're not getting much on 10, that's for sure. But that's life. Let's see. A little more drive on this pup. Okay, that's all we're going to get on 10. I burn everything out here. So on 10, I'm getting how much? 2,000 watt scale. I'm getting 400 watts. 375 watts on 10 meters. That's enough. 
All right, that concludes my test. I hope you enjoyed it. Amplifier seems stable. I'm not getting spurs or crap coming out. That's keyed. I don't see anything coming out. So I think my problems are over. Do that modification to your SB200, SB220. It's well worth it. It made mine go from junk to usable. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Power off. Power off. Power off.